Fighting for her political life, Manitoba PC leader Heather Stephenson releasing a costed platform on the campaign's final day. This document reflects what we have been hearing from Manitobans. We're very proud of that. She's been low profile, taking questions for the first time in a week, defending a campaign that's gone negative. And we say to every Manitoban out there, this is your time. You decide who is best to serve Manitobans. Stephenson is running on promises of tax cuts, tough on crime initiatives, and a vow to fight the federal carbon tax. As NDP leader Wab Kanu repeatedly hits at anger over changes made to health care. It's our belief that this is the number one issue in Manitoba that needs attention. Polls have the NDP ahead, but it could all hinge on a few Winnipeg seats. A minority government is a possibility. Conservatives are trying to shore up support with ads personally attacking NDP candidates as Stephenson doubles down on a decision not to search a landfill for the remains of two murdered Indigenous women. Polls show Manitobans evenly split on the issue. It is a little bit of an odd campaign strategy on the part of the Conservatives. Because Political scientist Kelly Saunders says the landfill is a risky play. You're basically weaponizing and trying to politicize what is really a horrific, traumatic crime in this province. Meanwhile, the third-place Liberals are hoping to be a spoiler. Their leader may struggle to hold his seat but in a minority government, could hold the balance of power. Because it's within the power of your vote, which is an awesome power, to deny either of these parties a majority. It's all exposed divisions in Manitoba on the economy, health care, crime and reconciliation. Manitoba's really at a crossroads on how we look at these issues and how we're prepared to deal with them. So Cam, clearly really close in Manitoba. What's your sense of how people are feeling about the leaders? Well, really, none of these leaders are particularly loved here in Manitoba. Heather Stephenson, since taking over as premier, has pulled around 23% and consistently comes in as one of the least popular premiers in Canada. But if she were to win, she'd be the first female party leader in Manitoba to win a general election. As for Wab Canoe, he pulls around 34%. Not great, but it might be enough to get him over the top. If he were to win, he would be the first First Nations Premier of a Canadian province. So with a race this close right now, Adrian, the parties are just focused on getting the vote out. All right, well, I'll be watching the CBC's Cam McIntosh in Winnipeg tonight.